Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we have Seventeen Takes a Friendship Test. Finally, my man Sung Chul is here. I've been missing him deeply. He's not in game caterers or anything, so I've just been feeling a little a little hollow without him. So we have Sung Chul, Wanu, Vernon, Hoshi, Jung Han, DK, Ming Hao. Looking forward to it. Let's just hop into the video. Oh, 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 yes. So, okay, this isn't the real, oh, I wish it was more oh, the friendship test where, like, they pair up a member. I, I like those friendship tests. This feels just like the um, superlative type of interviews, but whatever. It's still cute. Really? I mean, I'm not that surprised. Next question. Oh, I Oh, Han. I mean, is this wow? Wanu. Sorry, Wanu is looking so posy. Songchul too, but Songchul does it with Jung Han. <laughs> Hoshi or Ming Hao, I don't know. Who's <laughs> 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 pizza? <laughs> wow, wait, okay. One new, okay. Why? Because he's fun? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why. That was an interesting one. Oh, oh, we just split them. Oh, we're both here. Both the whole group's here. Okay, this is okay. I really kind of wanted them to pair them up randomly, though. Like to get that one-on-one, -on -one, like, cause it's easy for them to not like it's easier for them to joke around more when everyone's there like it's a little harder to be somewhat serious because like when got seven nct monster x etc when they did the questions there were like moments where they were like very sincere and sweet and like they got to hug, hug for one minute that type of thing so i kind of wanted that just to kind of get some random duos by the way june looks great um but this is cute. This is cute. It just feels like a, it's just, it's not, I wouldn't talk, call it a friendship test. It's just a superlative interview, but they're standing up. <laughs> also, they get these questions a million times. It's actually why I don't watch interviews very much. It's so interesting because I, I feel like someone would be. I always felt like he'd be early. I don't know. Mingyu? I really don't know. Oh, Woozy. Okay. Okay, it's pretty spread. I feel like they're all night owls. I guess Sungwon goes to bed early. So why are you late? <laughs> oh, that's why he's late. <laughs> but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I think they're all pretty athletic, actually. Besides June. <laughs> It just depends. Who wrote June? <laughs> well, I mean, June's not bad. It's just, he had bad luck. 
정보라고 해야 되죠? 그 전문적인. 되게 그런 되게 정신적인 섬세한 근육들의 지식이 많아. Seventeen is surprisingly like a really athletic group. 왜냐면 세븐틴 멤버들이 지금 다 Yeah. It's very rare I find a group where even half the members are athletic. Um, obviously, everyone in K-pop has to have some type of drive and some type of athleticism to them, whether it was there or they had to make it be there because they're doing choreo. But it's very rare, like 90% of the group is good at sports. Like, it's crazy. And there's so many of them, you would think. It would be more half and half, but honestly, I think everyone's pretty... Like, even Vernon and June, who get picked last a lot, they can hold their own. Like, they, it's not obvious that... Like, they, they don't hold the group back when they're doing sports. Like, it's very interesting how athletic they are. Yeah, I feel like June works out. He's just bad at sports. <laughs> oh, he's having a redemption arc? I swear, June is literally Woozy's baby. <laughs> and like, vice versa. <laughs> I support it. Yes, get it, King. Yes, dance, King. Let's go, let's go. I love Ming House putting no effort in right now. <laughs> He's just standing to the side. This type of okay. Do something crazy, Mingyo. Oh, I love you. Yes. I think I saw something from this. They said this is an unfamiliar duo, but I've seen... I think, actually, I think I, I shipped this duo first, and I think it was because, um... Or like one of my first like things like pairings I've noticed, because one like I said I feel like Woozy's very soft with June, <laughs> but also when they won some type of award I think it was probably their first like award, like June like wiped Woozy's tears and I felt like wow that was brave <laughs> I'm just kidding but like um at that time I thought Woozy was like really sassy and stuff so like and I, I thought June was like a big baby because that's it's the characters you get when you join a group and a fandom and there's always like a very simple detail of them so Woozy's sassy hate skinship like that's the thing you learn first and then June's a fake maknae like that's their labels so when I saw that clip where June is like cradling his face and wiping his tears I was so soft I was like oh my god little did I know they're very unpopular as a ship like they, people don't like not like the ship it's just not talked about I think they're a cute duo I think we need more duos with Jujun in general I feel like he's either with Wanu or Minghao like like that's the only pairings I've seen where people are like oh look at this relationship so someone someone Give me some, some June chips. <laughs> Who do you like? <laughs> I don't know who's good at drawing. I'm trying to remember the episode where they painted and stuff, but all I remember is Minghao just being good. I, I think Minghao's good at painting, not drawing. Minghao's good. Minghao's good. But I don't think he's good at drawing. <laughs> <laughs> also, Uzi and June are part of the cat line, aka 96 line. I love Dino and someone together. Oh. oh. Wow, why is Joshua's better? I really thought me <laughs> would be better. Oh, wait. Let me see. Did they switch? Portraits? No, no. This is. Is this supposed to be Joshua? Wait, let me make sure. I, I want to make sure they didn't hand them to each other. Nope. <laughs> that is true. 
I like how he drew she was lips. <laughs> Hair is very important. <laughs> of summer. <laughs> <laughs> he just cut off his <laughs> his head. <laughs> That's a fair question. <laughs> That's the detail though. That's the detail. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's pretty good. It looks nothing like him, but it's not a bad drawing. He got that stubble though. It kind of looked like him. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is a sin. <laughs> I mean, he does have big eyes, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it, it's not that bad when I focus on the head. <laughs> oh my goodness, this was a mess. No way, I wanted the other team to draw. I want I wanted the other team to draw. I'm so sad. <laughs> 17 is such a big group, you can make it a 20 episode thing. Get more of that AdSense, come on. <laughs> I really want to see how like Jonghan and DK and everyone will draw each other. I wouldn't trust them. I'm so sorry, I just wouldn't. <laughs> And that's exactly why. Close your eyes. <laughs> it's kind of like the tilt world or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, okay. There's the Super M interview. Okay, um, thank you, Glamour, for testing our friendship. So, let's go here real quick. I don't remember. Yeah, see, like. I like these interviews more because they actually allow like I like this part so much this is my favorite part of these it actually adds a lot to like me getting to know like I I mean I know about 17 at this point but to just hear them talk specifically not not about oh when Joshua joined the company it's like when I met Joshua which I get tidbits from like V Live or like they'll just randomly talk about it but I really wanted like that sincere like we're like brother right now like we always say tell each other secrets like I like these type of parts where they go into detail and I just it's very rare to see Seventeen be, it's not. That's not true. But like in an interview like this, it's rare for Seventeen to get like deep. Because like I said, it's it's hard to speak up a lot when there's thirteen people, and you got to be quick. You got to answer fast. You kind of you and you kind of just start laughing because like someone's gonna say something funny, um, which is great. But like that's why I really liked In the Soup and like Seventeen Club. Um, and hit the road but those are like almost well hit the road was like a, a, a little like too serious where it's like i love it but it's like and it was more focused on themselves so i got to learn about themselves a lot 
but I want to hear a specific. I, I want to know what June thinks of Uzi. Like I and I know what he, I know what he thinks. I just I wanted that portion. I really wanted that portion of it, but we didn't get it. So whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I like this friendship test. I guess I don't know if they've changed it in the past year. I haven't watched it or any of them. Like because I've seen every group like do it. So. When I saw 17 too, I was like, oh, that's great. And then they just kind of did a superlative and then drew each other and danced. Like, I don't know. It was cute, though. It was fun. It was a cute video. I just really was hoping for it to be, like, the way I've seen it done with every other group. But it's fine. <laughs> it was cute. It was a cute video. And I liked the drawing portion. Though I wish the other group did that portion, too. So that sucks, too. But I'm going to be continuing with... Um, Ming Hao and Jung Han with Kylo, and then we're doing Game Caterers. I think it's three episodes. It might be four. Who knows how long it's gonna go, which I like because I like nearly every group on there, so it's been fun. Um, but that's on Patreon along with Seventeen Club and In the Soup, which I mentioned a few minutes ago. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Maybe I'm ready for you. Oh, oh. Some